first round. I mean, how did that kind of feel going through the first season? Um, felt good. Uh, sometimes when you know who's in the race, you kind of know how it's going to play out. So, you know, Michaela's a great runner, great front runner. So, my goal was just to stay with the second pack and make sure I got a good And did it feel comfortable? I know some of the races have been up and down the past year. How did this one kind of compare to some of the races? Um, just felt comfortable. I briefly saw my coach after. He was happy with it. So, um, on to the next round. Yeah. How would you assess like, coming in, how you're feeling about the trials and preparations? Um, I'm feeling good. I think the last year has been trying to figure out like how you know my body ticks. I've been doing this for a while, but you know, things change so you just have to adapt and I think you know we've got it. We've got a, a good stretch right now, so I'm hoping I can show that this weekend. Is this your third trials or fourth? Uh, fourth. Fourth? Yeah. Obviously. What's different about <laughs> this time you've experienced so many times before you know the process? coming in at this time for you, how do you approach it? Yeah, my first one, I uh, was just finishing up high school, um, and I was just happy to be here. <laughs> and over time, just having more expectations for myself, just becoming a better runner, you know. It's, it's definitely changed, but I think still get nervous, still never know what's gonna happen in these races, and still just coming grateful that I'm able to tell the why I'm like the best in the country. Hi. Are we gonna see you at fifth trials? Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. I mean, what's your relationship with the sport now? You know, been, like you said, for 10 years or so as a pro. What's your relationship like with, with the sport right now and looking forward? Yeah, I think probably the last five, six years of crazy as it sounds, I've actually fallen fall in love with the sport. I think initially it was just something I was good at. And I found an opportunity and I was pursuing it. And it kind of took, you're wrong again. I think just time and learning and appreciating the position that I'm in to really love just being here and love what I'm doing. So as long as my body allows, like, I love doing this. And, you know, it'd be great to have a fun job. Make that team and run on your soil. That'd be, like, career come true. So, yeah. The 800 so deep, um, you know, today. As, as you move forward into the next round, um, how do you kind of prepare yourself for what's to come on a more cutthroat, maybe, round to get to the finals? Yeah, I think even though the format's different, you always look at that semifinal as the final. Like, you, you never want to take it for granted and end up not making that last round. So, I'm going to go home, rest up, and come back ready to, you know, put it all laid all on the track. And then you worry about the next day. Yeah. Are you still training out of Philadelphia? I am. And do you train with different, like, do people come into your group and do you kind of get a fusion of talent every now and again? I, I heard Sophia Guriran came in for a little bit, trained with you, and then yeah. how is it sort of training-wise with you? Do you have a lot of, like, partners? Um, it's kind of like on and off. My coach is pretty, um, I think, adaptive. Like, his, his main goal is like making sure I'm pushing myself and I'm getting the best out of it. So we have people local with community, high yeah. schoolers, college, just hopping in and out of practice. And anytime I have someone that I can train with, Iron Sharp is Iron, so yeah. she's an excellent athlete. So having her around was always great workout days. Um, so that's kind of my framework. Like, cool. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right.